But first tonight, Attorney General Jeff Sessions went to Suffolk County, New York today, out of Long Island, where he vowed to bring the full force of federal law enforcement down on the gang MS-13. MS-13 motto is kill, rape, and control. We're seeing more drugs, more deaths. I mean, this is an assault on law and safety, and we're not going to let it happen. They enrich themselves by peddling poison in our communities, trafficking children for prostitution, inflicting horrific violence in our neighborhoods. They recruit in our high schools and our middle schools and even our elementary schools. We have proof of that. Our nation is suffering from an unprecedented epidemic of heroin and opioid abuse, often trafficked by the cartels and these gangs. I have a message for the gangs that target our young people. We are targeting you. Well, you might think that stopping a murderous gang is a goal that can unite people that everyone would agree with, but apparently not. Dozens of people protested Jeff Sessions' visit today, attacking him for linking MS-13's rise to illegal immigration. Patrick Young was one of the protesters today. He's an immigration attorney and a program director at the Central American Refugee Center, and he joins us tonight. Patrick, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So the Attorney General goes to Long Island today and says we're going to crack down on MS-13, which nobody disagrees is a scourge. This is the press release you guys sent out in response. Quote, Long Islanders, and now I'm quoting, need to resist the rhetoric of criminalization coming down from Washington. Why is it bad to criminalize MS-13? Look, you don't need to lecture me on the dangers of MS-13. Fifteen years ago, I was offered police protection because I'm an outspoken opponent of MS. Okay. But the way that you go after MS is to work with the police, to have the police and the community work together. And that equation doesn't work if you bring ICE into it. When you bring ICE in, you just divide the community and you drive the people who are really the eyes and ears of the police underground. You turn them into antagonists. And that's not something that's safe for any of us. Okay. Two doors the down from me a, f a few months ago, a house was tagged with MS-13. I don't know if they were looking for me or if they were going after my neighbors. But we need to be able to find MS, and we can only do it if the community trusts the police, and they won't if Jeff Sessions has his way. Okay, let, let me just state the obvious, which is there's no data to back up that claim, which is universal among pro-immigration activists. But let me also applaud you for being against MS-13. Good for you. But here's what I don't understand. Pretending that immigration has nothing to do with the rise of the gang is false. It does. A FOIA uh, suit recently brought federal numbers to light that show that of the 4,000 MS-13 members so far arrested in this country, 92% were here illegally. 16% had been caught coming in at least two times. So there is a direct connection between people coming illegally and the rise of this gang. Why not just admit that? The people being targeted by MS are largely immigrants from the same communities yes. that MS lives in. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to blame the victims and re-victimize them. When we want immigrants to come forward and speak to the police, if they're hearing from political leaders that they themselves are suspected of being involved in MS, they're not going to come forward. Okay. Again, we don't know that. That's a political point that we you're making. It's that. not. We don't we do actually. Know that. We, do, we don't because you're about the eighth. No, you don't on. have immigrants on your program, you're about but the, I talk to immigrants every single day. You're about the eighth day, person on this show to make say. that claim. Look, criminology is a is a variety of social sciences studied extensively. There's not one study that proves what you just said. You, it sounds like it may be right, it serves your political purpose, but you don't know that, so I'm not going we to claim it. We worked closely with the Nassau County Police Department for 20 years around MS. In fact, we had two police officers intern with us to learn about the community. We know what the best policing practices are. Nassau County has MS, but Nassau County also has an extremely low crime rate because Nassau County has two decades of history. Yeah. Okay. Under well, Democrats did, and Republicans speaking of lecturing, working look, with the immigrant you, you obviously, community. Obviously, we don't know the best way to fight MS-13, or it wouldn't be growing across the country, and it is. And so I'm just making an obvious point. I'm not pretending to be a cop here, unlike you. I'm just saying that if 92% of the people apprehended... I'm, look, I'm talking about being somebody who listens to the immigrant community okay. and also but, talks to the police. But there are many constituencies here, and the, quote, immigrant community is not the only one. There's also the rest of us. And if 92% of the people arrested as MS-13 members are here illegally, you can't pretend it's got nothing to do with illegal immigration. Like, why? I know it's inconvenient for you. the rest of us will be safer if we have the immigrant community enlisted in the struggle against MS-13.
Okay, but no one is, look, I'm not saying that you don't want people affected by MS-13 to come forward. I'm merely saying these guys are here in the first place, 92% of them, because we didn't enforce our immigration laws. And you just don't want to admit that because you disagree with our immigration laws. And that doesn't help anybody if we don't tell the truth. I disagree with that because it's not the truth. If you go you and take one truth. characteristic of MS-13 and then ignore the fact that we have many native-born people in the United States who are involved in criminality, you're stigmatizing a particular group. We don't blame, I am all, stigmatizing we don't blame MS -13. all Fox News hosts for the sins of a few. Okay, look, that's a ludicrous point. It's, I am it, not it blaming, well, slow down. As I'm you not blaming, blaming immigrants. all immigrants. I'm merely saying we wouldn't have this problem in the first place if these people weren't here. They don't have a right to be here. They're here illegally. And in this case, in the case of MS-13, they're murdering people. The victims so of MS-13 who brought this to the attention of so many people, the killings uh, two weeks ago of four people, they were all immigrants. Really? So brought, we no, don't actually, wanna, we that's don't not true. Keep, we the bodies were found by the side of the road by a motorist. In with MS but I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Unlike you, I'm not blinded by my ideology to the point where I can't admit obvious truths. And the most obvious is this is an immigration-based problem. It doesn't mean that they're it's all It's not MS an immigration-based problem because is. otherwise we wouldn't have the Bloods and the Crips. There are okay. plenty of American-born no. people who are involved in gangs. Right. You didn't take logic in school, I see. I'm not, I was a philosophy not, major, and I did take logic in school. Oh, okay, well, obviously you slept through because it's not a matter a. of saying. <laughs> okay, okay. And I, I don't and want, I I don't want to debate your college transcript here. I, look, I'm only saying the obvious, and I'm not going to say it again. But I just want to make the point that I'm sure all of our viewers are thinking right now, which is, hey, this guy claims to want to help immigrants. And yet MS-13 preys primarily upon immigrants. And yet this right. guy it does is standing in the way of federal immigrants, efforts which is why it's important to stop to MS-13. The immigrants in the struggle against MS-13 and not to marginalize them and not to sow divisions. Okay, then let me ask you an obvious fact-based question. So the Obama administration has been in power for the last eight years. Trump's been in for 99 days. MS-13 during that eight-year period grew. The Obama administration didn't stigmatize illegal, illegal immigrants. They welcomed illegal immigrants. Then why under Obama did MS-13 continue to grow, if your theory is correct? Why under Obama? You can talk to Obama about that. I'm a, no. I'm a local person who lives no. in a community that's mixed with immigrants not, and non-immigrants, and I work in two communities you're not, that are you're not similar. Tracking, you're not tracking the logic here. I'm not, it's not about Obama. The point is we haven't been, as you put it, stigmatizing illegal, illegal immigrants from Washington for eight years. And yet, during that time, MS-13 has continued to grow. By your logic, the opposite would be true. By my logic, we need to work together in order to work against MS-13, and we don't make progress against MS-13 if communities are divided. I wonder, and this is my final question because I, I feel like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall, but do you think there comes a point don't hurt when you're, yourself. you're so committed, it is hurting me, actually, when you're so committed to a particular worldview that you become impervious to facts? Uh, and that's you, what it, I'm it, seeing Is that right a religion for you at that that's point? That's what you're in love with right now. What do you mean in love with? You've I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a number that is real. The cause of gangs is immigration, and we know the cause of gangs is not immigration because there are plenty of non-immigrants who are in gangs. I'm MS saying, happens to be one gang, it happens to be a very place, violent gang, we but have it is problem. one gang. All right. I'm never going to convince you, Patrick, but I appreciate your coming on anyway. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much.